Timmy? Timmy? Ah! Not you too! You're right. It seems we've been redesigned. What's going on? I heard you screaming from the other side of the building. Look at us, Bill. We've been redesigned. It's all the animator's fault. What? No, you're being ridiculous. It's not just us. He's redesigned the backgrounds too. What is he plotting? I don't know. Maybe he had a good reason to change us. And besides, it's not so bad. I'm 2D now. And look at my cool new digs. Cool, huh? Hmm, and I feel taller. Do I look taller? Eh, a little. Your forehead is bigger too. Hmm, maybe Timmy is on to something. Let's go to my newest invention, the Explainer 3000. <laughs> not another one. This one won't blow up, I promise. Well, I hope. Loading character design files. Good character design is essential in animation. The viewer should be able to recognize a character just by looking at his silhouette. If all your characters look the same when silhouetted, you should go back to the drawing board. Good character design lets us know many things about the character before he even utters a single word. Let's take Bill, for example. He wears welding goggles and gloves, which tells us he's good with soldering and machines. I mean, he built me, and I'm fabulous! He also wears glasses, a lab coat, and has a prominent forehead. Hey! Which gives us the impression that he could be a scientist, and a very smart monkey. If we look closer at his lab coat, we see wrinkles and food stains. This, coupled with his messy hair, tells us he's not the most organized of scientists. Another integral part of character design is the color palette. Bill's palette consists mostly of cool colors like blue, cyan, and green, which could mean he's a calm and reserved character. Look at the stark differences between Timmy and Bill's palettes. This makes the characters be even more distinguishable from each other, and even hint at their dynamic. Timmy's warm color palette is a polar opposite of Bill's. These two are like fire and water. And look what happens when we put all the characters in silhouette mode. I bet you were able to recognize who was who. A character can be redesigned for many reasons. It could be that his franchise is being rebooted, or perhaps to bring a breath of fresh air to his show. Sometimes you're redesigned to keep up with pop culture and the ever-changing art styles. And lastly, they are redesigned to bring back an IP from the past and give it a more modern spin. Pun intended. This concludes the presentation. I will see you next time. Wow, that was very informative, Bill. Good job. I think I understand now. The animator only wanted to improve our show. He didn't want to hurt us. Well, let's do it then. It's time for our term of the day. Take it away, Tessa. Today's animation term is persistent submission. It refers to an optical illusion where different images seem to blend into a single one inside the human mind. This is what makes animation possible. Thank you, Tessa. Oh, an old-timey horn is honking, which can only mean one thing. It's time for ancient artifacts. Bill, could you do the honors? With pleasure. Platinos, today's ancient artifact is the zeotrope also known as the Wheel of Life. This device was invented over a century ago by William Insync Lincoln. Uh, wait a minute. It's in sign, not in sync. Timmy, have you been messing with my notes again? Anyways, the zeotrope had varying images and vertical slits where the viewer could watch a short animation unfold before their eyes as the object spun around. And that concludes our episode. As always, I'm Platanos, he's Timmy, he's Bill, and this is still Monkey Ranch. Click that subscribe button and join the monkey family. Oh, and if you'd like to support the channel, check out my Patreon page. Go ahead, we'll wait.